From early in his career and even before, Brad White always connected with some of the greats in Mississippi's political history. In 1991, Mr. Ray Layton uh, was good friends with Kurt Fordyce. Fordyce had decided to run for governor. He was going to be involved in this campaign. To quote him, said, we're going to make a Republican out of this kid. And so he got me involved and recruited me into the Fordyce campaign. And then the rest was kind of history, as they say. From state legislator and transportation commissioner Dick Hall to Mississippi's Republican Party chair to United States Senator Cindy Hyde-Smith, then back to Mississippi Department of Transportation as executive director. White has seen a lot and learned a lot each step along the way. I've been involved in the Republican Party since I was 14. A lot of Republicans around, even in the 90s. So I've been involved in various leadership positions within our local party and state party. And so when I left Commissioner Hall, Governor Barber asked me if I would be interested in running for a chairman of the state party and learned a lot about how to just interact with people and how to build coalitions to accomplish common goals, which I think Governor Barber is one of the best there is at, at being able to do that. One of his cherished stops was as Chief of Staff to Senator Thad Cochran right before the elder statesman retired. I probably learned more in the three years I was with him as Chief of Staff. Toward the end of his career and the way he brought it to an end, I learned more about how to be a man and how to truly care about other people and see their importance and their value and, and what we in government are supposed to do. Appointed by Governor Tate Reeves to lead the State Department of Transportation, White has a big job in front of him from a long list of projects on our state roads to complete. We have to always be mindful of what needs to be done to enhance that system and, and make it not just a, a safe system for our motoring public to travel on, but keep things in mind like economic development, the business communities, and, and, and developing an economy within the state. This is a team sport. I mean, it takes working with landowners and business leaders, uh, utility companies, our legislative leadership, the governor, and, and our elected transportation commissioners, and other associations like Farm Bureau and other groups that have interest in, uh, in, in what we do and make sure that we're developing at a pace that keeps Mississippi competitive with the areas around us. But White hasn't forgotten his rural Simpson County roots, surrounded by chicken houses, logging operations, cattle and vegetable gardens, a way of life that paved the road to where he sits now. I didn't have a lot of time to get in trouble, put it that way. We were busy doing other things and other chores, but you know, it was a very valuable time in my life. There was a lot of good lessons and things that I think helped me along in a lot of different ways and the ways Farm Bureau and his career connected at so many points through the last 30 years, from Jackson to Washington, D.C., working side by side much the same way agriculture and transportation serve Mississippi. In a lot of ways, it made me stop and take stock in how long Farm Bureau and I have had the opportunity of working together in so many different capacities and their contribution to the betterment of our state and the betterment of agriculture and the people that rely on it. As far as accepting the award, to be honest with you, I, I feel like I'm not quite as uh, deserving from the standpoint of transportation because all of the good things that MDOT is involved in was going on before I got here. And I'm standing on the shoulders of people that kind of helped put all this into motion uh, before I was here. In, in that sense, this is something that hopefully the whole agency can be proud of and take as recognition of their hard work and, and investment. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2022 Mississippi Farm Bureau Federation Friend of Agriculture Award winner, Brad White. <laughs>